What's going on elements? It's your boy Tice or Tice SODMG and today I'm going to teach you how to stream to Facebook and YouTube using OBS via Restream. Stay right there. If you want to know how Tice does it, it's going down right here. Hey, hi, not a bad guy, I should move to the side, see the Tesla right there, yeah, that's my ride. Mittens in the kitchen with a chicken finger, lick it's all bad, you know it, with them fries, that's my guy, that's my clip, yeah, we really get lit in this bitch, check the kiss, cause they match with the fit, Hey, First to death, I think I killed myself, ice my wrist and sprained the ice and hell. First things first, I'm gonna get you started. You wanna stream on Facebook? You wanna stream on YouTube using OBS? Huh, use Restream as well? I got you. First, we're going to get you logged into your account. So let's do that, right? So when you're in OBS, Streamception, all right? You want to look at the file. You want to go to settings. And then you want to go to stream. Right here, it's going to show you a couple of options for your service. All right? You want to click on restream.io, RTMP. Restream.io, RTMP. You click on it. It's already got auto detected. Right now, I'm connected to my account so what you'll see a pop-up of restream and you just put in your email putting your password and bam you're locked in now that you've done that part we can go ahead and move over to what we like to call the studio yes now that you're at the studio let's go ahead and look at the titles and destinations I'm gonna add channel Right, you're gonna go to YouTube events, right? And then you're gonna connect your account and it's gonna ask you your password and you put it in and you'll be good to go. When you're done looking at that and it comes to here, what you're gonna have is this window right here pops up when you try to get your stream started on YouTube. What you have to do beforehand is you'll have to go to the live streaming on the YouTube side, okay? Now, the live streaming on the YouTube side is going to bring you to a screen where you have previous live streams, okay? And what you want to do is you want to take reuse settings, right? And then you design it however you like. Your, your title, your destination, what game you're playing. All done, right? And now you come over here and you're gonna go to your event and whatever event that you made on the live streaming going to YouTube studio, you will select from this menu and then it's gonna pop up for you just like so, okay? Now, when you go live, it should populate here. Now for Facebook, same rules apply. Only this time, you don't actually have to go to Facebook in order to set this up. You can do it directly from here. Go to add channel. You're gonna add your Facebook group. Now, here's the kicker. If you want to live stream to a page, you have to have a subscription with Restream. But if you want to stream to your personal page, all you have to do is select Facebook right here, personal profile, connect to Facebook, type in your password, and you're good to go. And after you do that, then you just ensure that on your destination screen that you will have both Facebook and YouTube toggled to the on. On the Facebook side of things, you want to make sure that when you're at, on Facebook, because on Restream, it doesn't really update the Facebook page. So go to your Facebook dashboard, uh, fb.gg slash your username. It'll bring you to your live dashboard. And then you can then change what your video is going to be about or what your game you're going to play and then put your title and then update the information right here. Now you're ready to broadcast live by hitting that amazing start button right here start streaming i hope you learned a lot if not put it in the comments down below and i will teach you some more this has been your boy tice for tice tice dmg and until next time peace searching for that limelight i just want to know what it feels like yeah spending days with you is timeless